morning fellow ambazonians today now friday number 20th day for this month for january 2023 my name na kapo daniel i am the deputy defense chief the anti-kidnapping czar of the ambazonian defense forces the adf and the spokesperson of the ambazonian governing council the egg of c aka sense pass king lukong ambazonian fbi Mr. No Kony, wanna welcome to our daily podcast, a program where we bring one the truth, meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we do work out for this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. Good people of Ambazonia, we we'll start today with news for the replacement of La Republic du Cameroon, there are two colonial election officials, um, head of the ELECAM, the colonial institution where they carry out election on behalf of La Republic du Cameroon. The one for Jakiri, Mr. Yufala Gilbert, where Ibidambi neutralized as a result of resisting arrest from Bui, and the other one, Na Kai John Fai, where he held for Momo, where he also Ibidambi eliminated for doing the same desperate cameroon it be surprised within 24 hours two of the election et- officials um, were in for the capital of our resistance they are being neutralized la republic du cameroon in their scramble for cover up and for try to protect the fallout of these actions them um, they then quickly turn to their propaganda wing for the ddr for come out with a statement say the second official way be killed it be killed by a mob the one people then for believe say such person of high caliber be been an actual thief man. The voice note we then come out with this fake story we then be carried out by the press. Now the one who will know him, the girl where they always use them for DDR for inside uh, Bamenda for Ayaba Hotel. Since Pobia be announced this e- election for inside Ambazonia, Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba, the leader of our War of Liberation. If we put out a tweet banning this election and for remind our people then for take action. Our forces, they nobody just talk, but they don't take action and the results are there for everybody to see. And the message is clear to every citizens of Ambazonia who, for the sake of small money, accept positions to enable colonialism of our people and the continuous subjugation of our people, especially in a time of war where blood of the innocent Ambazonians are still flowing across Ambazonians and villages are still being burned. As we speak today, Bui Ngwakang is under attack by La Republic to Cameroon. Anyone who sustain, who help, who enables Cameroon to claim some sort of legitimacy in our land is directly responsible for the aggression of La Republic to Cameroon over our citizens and over our territory and for those enablers and desperate people who give themselves over for la republic du cameroon to be used as toilet tissue this should be a clear message to you your life don't matter after the killing of two top officials that represent the state of cameroon in ambazonia no investigation have been opened the dead bodies of these individuals are in the mortuary no la republic du cameroon Official have visited the family or visited the body of these individuals, but they have all been replaced. You are a disposable tool for the enemy to be used on your people and do not think that because you are an Ambazonian citizen, if you justify the killing of other Ambazonian citizens, you yourself, your life will be at risk and will be in your own hand. We are calling on all Ambazonian citizens to help identify, including Ambazonian citizens abroad, to help identify the two individuals who have replaced these two ones who have gone to meet Patrick Ekema. We are asking for help in identifying the person who have replaced Mr. John Fai, who is from uh, who was the representative in uh, Momo. The lady is called Madame Siri Hilda. From the name, it sounds like a Bafut name. Please, if you know any Madame Siri Hilda who have been appointed a Lekam head in Momo, please contact the nearest Ambazonian authority. We are also asking for information about Mr. Kunsa Lorenz, who replaced Yufala Gilbert, 
we have heard from initial information that Mr. Lawrence is a Shea in Bui State. If anybody knows him, please contact us as soon as possible. We are also asking all Ambazonian citizens to be proactive to help identify any Eleka member and pass that information to the nearest Ambazonian base in Ground Zero or to Ambazonian officials in the diaspora for quick actions. Any Ambazonian citizens, and this warning go in particularly to the lawyers who have become the next prey for La Republic du Cameroon to use as a buffer and human shield between our people's fight and La Republic du Cameroon. If you accept to be nominated as a candidate for this election, just turn and remember, Yusufa Gilbert, Kai, Fei John should be a very good example for you to think twice if you decide to take that risk to help a foreign government to perform an illegal election in your own country over the blood walking over the blood of your own people then you deserve what you will get for enabling colonialism of our people also in the great state of bui the ambazonian defense forces bui brigade have announced the killing of two cameroon colonial terrorist military in Du, and the debriefing of that process have finished and the media material expected to be released to the Ambazonia people as soon as possible. While La Republic du Cameroon have published the list of over 637 of its military men who have run away because of the war they are waging against Ambazonia. Along the list is the matricule number and the grade of the Cameroon military men who have run away. Majority of them are all Bulu Petit, judging from their name. You had Bechana, Bepanda, you have the Guillaumes, you have the Afonsos, you have the Biyong Felix, you have all of them francophone names from the area of Beti, Bulu, and the west part of La Republique du Cameroon. The core is crumbling and they are afraid to die for an unjust cost. The amount of La Republique du Cameroon military men who have run away from their forces quadruple the amount of Ambazonians propagandists who have joined their DDR. More La Republic du Cameroon military men have run away than they have been able to convince or project fake Ambazonian deserters in their so-called DDR center. Fellow citizens, we are calling on Ambazonians to be very vigilant this coming country Sunday, especially in the capital of our resistance in Bamenda and in all Ambazonian states and districts for the strict implementation and observation of the Monday ghost town. Every Ambazonian should stay at home. Last week, one of the big Bameleke man who has been the main supplier and transactor of contraband brasserie drinks in Quen. If you notice in Quen area there around Mobile, most of those shops have been strategically given to Bameleke people, to Tongto people, and you go behind uh, Shishia Quarter, these people have been systematically buying houses in the same neighborhood to be able to protect themselves. They have been preparing for this day. They know they are in a foreign land. That is why they don't want to disperse themselves around town to live among us like one of us. But they decide to concentrate in one part of the town and they have been undermining our liberation and the aspiration for our own people for their freedom. This is unacceptable. We are calling on all Tongtu people and all Bamileke people to align and be patriotic for the good gesture our forefathers did to allow them to have refuge in our territory. Anybody or any businessman who violates the Monday goes town for their own personal reasons will be put into jeopardy the livelihood, the aspiration of 8 million of Ambazonians and they will be held responsible. We are calling on all schools to continue what they have been doing so far so good to maintain the code that we have given them and the guidelines the authorities of Ambazonia have given them to operate community schools. These reminders are very important for all schools in FACO, in Meme in particular. We are calling on every single school that have not been authorized to seek authorization and guidelines on how to operate as community school. Every single Ambazonian who is still going to Cameroon government school, you need not be reminded that you are putting yourself at risk for the anger to the boys that are in the bush 
and the Amazonian students who have abandoned education to be able to fight for the rest of Amazonia. Cameroon government schools are a vexation of the heart and are a provocation to the Amazonian people. Every Amazonian citizen, for whatever reason, have participated in Cameroon government school should cease to do so immediately. And lastly, in Bamenda, the Igbo community, the people from Biafra, the Nigerian community as a whole, as well have been engaged with us to find out about one of their businessmen who was arrested and uh, they have been inquiring about him. Video materials today and a briefing to our population will be released about the arrest of uh, this individual that they know very well. This individual was arrested for suspicion of working with the Cameroon military to target Ambazonians. The Cameroon military have provided him finance and he has been actively providing intelligence to the Cameroon military that had led to the death of an Ambazonian soldier. Detail will be released and transparency will be made for accountability for every single person that has been held by Ambazonian forces especially in Ambazonian Defense Forces. Those details about the allegations as well will be substantiated for the public to see for themselves. He is a traitor that I can assure the general public. Anybody who have been promised by the Cameroon Occupation Forces to be given money to betray his own people should know that eventually the same Cameroon military will expose them. Most of those promises that are made have never been kept. Cameroon is not a credible institution. They have no dignity and no honor. And anybody who has been used by them will end up as trash or as toilet paper as they have, as they have made themselves as one. Capo Daniel, signing off.